Hello YouTube, this is Apple Tech, and I'm back with you guys with the top 5 games of the week. Now I'll be doing all these games on my iPhone 4, like in the last video you saw. But some of these games are compatible with older devices, so I'll be naming that for each game that I review. So that's muchly it. If you like this video, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Like always, you can follow me on Twitter at Apple Tech. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now let's get on to the first game of this week. So the first game I got for you guys is called World's Hardest Game and you can find this one in the App Store for $1 and it requires 3.0 and higher and as you can see when you first start off it is a very addicting game just to start off with. Now what this simply does, I'm going to go into easy as you can see you have easy, normal and hard but you have to unlock them um, through every stage you go through and as you can see this is an ad so all you have to put is no thanks. And as you can see right here, um, go back into easy. As you can see right here, you got your easy mode that it tells you. You have how many stars you have to collect. As you can see, each level has five stars. And there are only eight levels in each easy, medium, and hard. You got your continue over here. You got your back over there to go back to the menu. So I'm just going to jump into the first one and show you how this goes. They just give you easy little games that you have to complete within seconds. So for each game, it gives you instructions on how the game is played. This one, you have to find three matches. And then once you find those three matches, you have to click on it as fast as you can. So I'm just going to keep going. And as you can see, it's switching. And it's right there. I was a little slow. And as you can see, that was my speed. And that's the speed that is required to pass the level. So you can just keep trying. It is a hard game at first, but then you'll get a hang of it. So I really like this game. It's very addicting. You can show it off to your friends, and they will be addicted as well when they play the game. So that's mostly it for this review. So once again, folks, it's called World's Hardest Game. But if you search it in the App Store, you want to search it as 0.0.2 .0 seconds, and then you will find it in the App Store. It has two different names. So that's much of it. Now let's get on to the second game of the week. So the second game I got for you guys is called Balloons. You can find it in the App Store for $1 and it requires 3.0 and higher. So as you can see, you got your loading screens right there and it's a pretty fast game. You got your play, you got your options, your help and about. Right here you can buy the Balloons TD. So now I'm just going to go through options. As you can see, you can hire the volume or the sound effects if you don't like your volume and you want to listen to your music while you're playing the game you got your help and about now I'm just gonna jump right into it by just clicking play and as you can see you have your game one game two and game three so you have three slots to save your games in so that means three people can be playing this game and as you can see it gives you 50 levels so you just want to start off with level one and as you can see it gives you a little preview of the level so that's very nice. You can close it or you can pick another level or you can just click play. As you can see, when you first start off, it will show you how to play the game. But most of you guys probably know how to play it. So as you can see, you just pull. And as you can see, the arrow goes higher or lower. And you move it up or down for the arrow to be aiming. And then you just simply let go wherever you want to let go. And as you can see, all you have to do is shoot all the balloons and there is a requirement on how many balloons you have to get and as you can see you have your arrows right there so it shows you how much you have left and as you can see you have your target right there and your score when you're done and as you can see I got one more arrow and I just use it up as you can see I popped 46 and my target was 34 so I got like a 95.8 percent and it is pretty easy at first but then it gets harder this one looks pretty easy you just hit them all at once and I got a hundred percent on that one so I'm just gonna play one more level for you guys so as you can see it does get harder different things get added and as you can see that is my last balloon and I mostly failed on that one so once again folks it's called balloons now let's move on to the third game of the week so the third game I got for you guys is called stupid three as you can see right here and this is much of a mind game and you can find it in the app store for free it requires 3.0 and higher and as you can see you got your play you got your options you have the open faint which is the people who make the game you got your credits you got your other games so you can check out other ones or you can get the pro this is like the free one and as you can see I already played it so my IQ is 268 so now I'm just gonna go into options and I'm gonna clear my score so I can start back at zero as you guys can see there 
So I'm going to play it. And when you first play this, you may think it is easy. And as you can see, you have your time up there. So it gives you questions and it gives you math problems. So this one's pretty easy. As I said, when you first start off, what room is the safest? And as you can see, you can read all these. I already know the answers. But when you play it, it will be hard. And when they say, like, tap on the right tech, and as you can see, if I click on it, that was not right. That was not right. Um, as you can see, if I twist it around and I click on the right one right here, as you can see, it goes. So it is a tricky game. You have to really pay attention to the questions. But I really like this game. As you can see, which one is farther from us? They're not talking about from the earth. They're talking about from that word. So as you can see right there. <laughs> so that's much it. They have a lot of checkpoints. This is just the first checkpoint. And as you can see, you get ads because it is a free game. And But you can just keep going. And as you can see, cut the blue rope. Gets easy, as I said. And as you can see, catch the star. So it gets pretty hard. So that's much it for this game. Once again, Stupidness 3. Make sure you guys check this one out in the App Store. Now let's move on to the fourth game of the week. Now the fourth game I got for you guys is called Coastal Super Combat. And it's right here. And this one is $1.99 and it's compatible with 3.0 so that's very nice. And the reason for the price is because this is a very um, fun game. I would rate this game a 5 out of 5 just before I even played it because this game is very nice. I saw it on my friends and I just had to get it. And as you can see you have your continue, you got your new game, you got your options, you got your leadership and your achievements. So I'm just going to start a new one for you guys. And as you can see, when you first start off, it will show you how the game is played. You tilt it sideways to move across the screen. You shoot over here. You change your weapons. Your life is up there. So it's mostly self-explanatory. So I'm just going to quickly go into the game. And as you can see, they take you through a tutorial on how to press it and how not to press it. And I really like how it transitions through levels. As you can see, mission one. So as you can see, you have your gun right there and you just tilt it. So say if I wanted to go to that part of the screen, I just tilt it to the side and I just tilt it this way. And their main objective is to kill these people before they get to your castle over there. So it's a pretty simple game. As you can see, you just use the gun to move it around. You shoot them like this, so you tilt the screen. So this is going to be kind of hard and you just tilt them before they shoot your territory. So it's pretty easy as you can see. You're just shooting all of them and it does get harder. They bring tanks. They bring many objects and you do get to upgrade with guns as the game goes on. So it's a pretty fun different game. I've never really seen a kind of game like this in the app store. And I keep playing this game over and over because I really like it and I think you guys would like it. So once again, folks, it's called Coastal Super Combat. Make sure to check it out in the App Store. Now let's move on to number five. So last but not least, I have the fifth game for you guys. This one is called Crazy John. As you can see right there, it's compatible with 3.0. And it is $1.99 in the App Store. Now this is not one of the best games you can buy from the App Store. But it is a pretty fun game if you like shooting games or if you just like little action 2D games, this game would be good for you. As you can see, you have your new game, continue, options, help, and game center if you're running iOS 4. And if I go into the new game, I'm just going to jump right into it. And as you can see, it mostly shows you about like a story of the game and what are you going to be doing in the game. It's mostly shooting zombies as you can see right there. You got your kill, you can save those, and you want to pick up those for extra life. As you can see, it mostly shows you right here. You aim with this, and you move with this one. And as you can see, you can get in that. It's kind of like a protection shield and a shooting thing. So I'm just going to jump right into that. And as you can see, you got your health, and you got to help him. So it's muchly pretty easy at first, but once the time goes and keeps going, the, um, it will get harder so all you have to do is navigate with your left joystick and as you can see if you get those they do go faster and it just gives you little hints on who to help And as you can see I helped him already and I'm just shooting um, the people that are trying to get him and I saved him and you blow up those which I almost killed myself but you got your life over there and it's muchly easy as you can see you can jump in here but it does have a time limit where it will boot you out 
but as you can see you have guns in here so it's a pretty easy game as I said it gets harder through the levels now this is just a very fun game if you want to kill time or if you just like shooting games I really enjoy this game it's a very addicting as I said so once again guys this one's called crazy John make sure to check this one out in the App Store so those are my top five games of the week if you guys like this video make sure to rate it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe up there for more videos like this you can follow me on Twitter at Apple Tech Helping where you can get the latest iOS 3 and iOS 5 feed and you can actually know when my next video will be posted all links will be in the description as well as all the information from each game in case you missed any this is Apple Tech peace out catch you guys in the next video